When I was in college, I was really into the French surrealists. And one of the things I loved about them was that they were all friends and they used to hang out together and, you know, vacation together and just be together. I just had this vision of this kind of like bohemian artist community that I wanted to be part of. And it involved, you know, one's friends, one's girlfriends, one's wives, everyone just like together being artistic. And as I tried to like, you know, create that in my life, I, I never could. Like I could never find that kind of community, that kind of like closeness, that kind of friendship, that kind of group consciousness. And one weekend, my, you know, good friend Jay Rosenblatt, who's, you know, an experimental filmmaker who I really admire, um, he was going to come to L.A. with his girlfriend. And I was living in L.A. with my girlfriend. And they asked if they could stay with us. And I was like, sure. And he was coming down for three days. And so for three days, the four of us hung out. And the first night, we went to see the premiere of the film Kids, the Larry Clark film. And I loved this film so much. And afterwards, I knew one of the producers and he invited us to a dinner and a bunch of the kids from Kids were there. And it was just really exciting to meet them. And the four of us, you know, me, Jay, his girlfriend and my girlfriend were all, you know, like getting along really well and talking about the film. And it was just like a great, you know, like uh, artistic, intellectual night. And then the second day, we went to the museum. The L.A. County Museum had a retrospective of the paintings of Gustav Kaibut. And I didn't really know his work, but I loved it. I loved it so much. And I just thought, wow, painting is a superior art form to cinema. Like, as great as kids was in it, it's great. This was even greater. And afterwards, we, like, talked about the paintings for a long time, and we just had a great artistic day again. And then the third day, we decided to go to, like, a kind of a woodsy area, and I brought along a collection of Hemingway's short stories. And I decided that we should all read out loud one of the stories, and we read The Snows of Kilimanjaro, which I never read. And we took turns reading it. And it's so, so beautiful and so sublime. And I was just like, oh my God, literature is a vastly superior art form to painting. And painting is a vastly superior art form to cinema. This is like the highest thing you can do in life. And we, you know, we're talking about it and we're talking about the different art forms. And it was another like incredible day. And then the next day, Jay and his girlfriend left. And I remember thinking, like, this was like what I was imagining my whole life. Like, this is what the art life would be like. And why can't I have this more in my life? But that was the last time I ever had anything like that in my whole life. That one weekend was like my dream weekend for life. And it's never, ever happened again. <laughs> 